Hey YouTube, it's Patrick here. Um, I'm going to be doing a video about backing up your Bitcoin wallet today. And the reason I have the two computers out is because I have my main PC that I use. And then I have this little notebook to the right that I use most of my Bitcoin um, stuff on. And it has occurred to me that I have about $700 worth of Bitcoin on there. And you see how it's got like the cracked screen and everything. If something happened to this computer, I would basically lose all that money. So I want to um, go ahead and throw that, at least throw that DAT file on a backup um, USB drive. So that way, if I had to reformat the computer, I would get it. So this is perfect for computer crashes. This isn't really going to help you if someone steals your Bitcoin, but this is going to help you if your computer crashes. Everybody that has a Bitcoin wallet should do this, just in case your computer crashes or uh, something of that nature, or the computer just breaks. So you at least have that DAT file so you can load it up on a different computer. Okay, the first thing you're gonna need is a uh, USB. I had this, someone gave me this two um, gigabyte USB a while back for backing up different things. So I'm gonna put it to use again. And Okay, so this is this is another backup wallet I have. I, I just trying to do this and I did my um, Purecoin wallet. Um, so I got a backup file there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the uh, right button. I'm going to hit new folder. And this is because I'm backing up with several different types of wallets. So I don't want to confuse them with the DAT file. And I'm just going to call this Bitcoin wallet backup. I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to save it. I'm going to go ahead and open it. Okay, but you just need to go into your local disk, your computer, that is your computer, you want to go into users, I think my under dad there, and then I need to go into app data, you need to show the app data folder, an application seems to be a hidden file, so what you have to do is you want to hit this, because you want to show all. So once again, then hit OK, and then it's going to make sure the app data is in there. So basically, once you go into users, and then your specific user that you use, that the Namecoin wallet file is going to be under, you hit that, you hit properties, and then you hit that button, and it hit apply, and then OK. And it allows you to see this app data, because you can see on the app data, it's a little, the folder's a little bit clearer, like it's, a, it's normally invisible. So then we, after we get into there, we want to get into roaming. Roaming gets us to our, um, you see I got a name coin and a Bitcoin wallet here. I'm going to go ahead and hit that Bitcoin and show you the file that you want to put on your USB drive. And that is, oops. But there is the Bitcoin wallet backup. And this is, it's this wallet dat file. That is your address that is what um, I don't know if it actually holds your balance or not I'm gonna do a little experiment here I'm gonna transfer a name coin dat file so I'm gonna grab this one over I'm gonna throw it on that Bitcoin wallet back up and so now my Bitcoin wallet is successfully backed up it's that easy it's on my uh, USB drive now and so if this computer crashes I don't care I can just reboot it and put it back in Drop a new folder in here. I'm gonna call it name coin. I'm gonna back up my name coin wallet. And for some reason, I have a problem on this computer finding my Bitcoin um, files. And so what you do is let me get this here. So what you do is you go down to here. This is Windows XP. I run a very old operating system. You just hit run, app data, you hit this uh, percentage sign, A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -A, percentage sign, backslash Litecoin, or um, I'm going to do specifically Namecoin. Right, I hit Namecoin. There is my wallet debt file. I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. And basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pretend that that name, my Namecoin wallet 
um, that has 1.2 has like 1.2 name coins in it. And it's basically I'm going to pretend that that broke that name coin that computer broke down. I'm going to transfer my name coin wallet information over to this computer. So we're going to see if this works. Works. So I need to go into app data. I need to go into roaming. And then I need to go into Namecoin. See, now this Namecoin has that file already. Okay, and so what I would just do here, click on this. I'll transfer this over. I'm curious to see what exactly is going to happen here. Copy to Namecoin. Copy and replace. So that's good. It has my old address. That's how you would transfer your, your wallet over in case a computer crashed. And it was really simple to do. You just simply load in your client. You, you find that application data file. And then put in the uh, bitcoinwallet.dat file. Real simple to do. Uh, if you have any questions, though, let me know. And I'll be glad to help you out. But if not, I recommend that everybody that has either a Bitcoin, Namecoin, Litecoin, Peercoin, whatever kind of wallet you have, I highly recommend you find that DAT file and you back it up. Just in case your computer crashes or something horrible happens, you'll at least have the balance of coins that you had. Uh, the crypto, whatever cryptocurrency, whether it be Bitcoin, Litecoin, or whatever, you'll have that backup. So I hope you found this video informative, and I will see you on YouTube.